Hi. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm Noelle, and this is Happy Go Creamery, and I am milking Buffy. Buffy is awesome. She's a very good milker. She is the daughter of one of our bestest milkers, and I'm making this video about the top 10 reasons you should own two La Mancha milk goats, not just one. You have to own two because they are social creatures and they love company. But the 10 reasons why you need to own a La Mancha milk goat, number one is ice cream. I love ice cream. Um, <laughs> and La Manchas have a very high butter fat, so that's two reasons right there. Um, they're very social animals. They're, they're, um, they love people. They're, they're very friendly. They like to be with you. And I don't know if you guys can see this. Maybe I should bring the camera over and show you. Let's see. Well, I'll finish milking her and then I'll show you. She's not tethered in. She's loose and fancy free and she is eating her bucket of grain. And she's really excited about her bucket of grain because she loves her bucket of grain. Isn't that right, Buffy? She's like, yes, it's very right. So, the, the number one thing is that they're easy to milk, I guess. Oh wait, I already gave a number one, that was ice cream. So this is number like three or four. Is they're really easy to milk, they give a lot of milk, they have an incredibly long lactation, and they have a very high butter content. I'm supposed to be numbering these. So, yeah. So I think we're on five. <laughs> Social, they're friendly, they like people, they're easy to milk. Um, I have some. Uh, goats that are not as easy to milk. They're a little bit slower milkers, but by and large, every La Mancha that I've gotten has nice big handles and they're very easy to milk. And I don't know if you've ever milked a Nigerian Dork, but everything is smaller. <laughs> smaller is not necessarily better. Um, let's see. Oh, they're big enough that they're healthy and robust and they don't have a lot of health issues. Um, trying to think of what else. Let's see. I have a list. Hang on just a second. Uh, my list says big udders, lots of milk, ice cream, multiple kids, healthy and robust, long lactations. No matter where you are, oh, that's a good one. No matter where you are, if you're at an auction, if you're at somebody's farm, if you're wandering along and you come across a goat that has no ears, uh, like the ear flaps, like a La Mancha, you can tell it's a La Mancha. And that means it's a milk animal. So it's really useful if you don't know a lot about goats to be able to tell you're looking at a goat that is a milk goat. Because I've actually seen Nub Nubians that look like boar goats. Boar goats are a breed of meat goat, and Nubians are a breed of milk goat. So if you don't know what you're looking at, that could be a serious problem. So when I got into uh, to milking goats, that is one of those things that, that I needed to know. Is, is it a milk goat? Don't worry guys, I haven't gone away, I'm weighing it out. She made 40 ounces and this is her second milking. So, she's kick butt. She makes over a gallon a day and she is only two years old and she has already kitted out three kids in her life and she's only two, so that means she is amazing. Amazing. So, I gotta write her down. Cause we keep records of every goat and how much milk they make. Okay Buffy, time to go. She's like, no, 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 don't take it away. Come on. And she has big scary horns and she's still so friendly that there's no problem. Also, I wanted to show you guys, check this out. Let me see if I can get her to walk over here. She has like a tattoo on her shoulder. It's a, actually a hair patch that looks like a heart. It's got a little white heart on her. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, come on, you gotta go. Hey, baby. No, you're Beatrix. Hey, Beatrix. Okay. No, 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 no. Just the one goat. Come on. This is Beatrix. I don't have it. The camera's in the way. You have to move the camera. You're going to work around this, aren't you? No, she's not. She's going to knock it down. Sorry, guys. Beatrix took out the camera. I don't know which way is right side up. Okay, well, I hope this is right side up. Okay. There we go. I think that works. Yeah, she's trying to kill the camera. Okay. Beatrix couldn't turn around in this space. She had to go over there. But, we'll feed her some more, and I'll milk her out, and I'll tell you the other, I think there's three more reasons I haven't told you of why La Mancha goats are the goat that you need to get for your dairy. Um, let's see. Oh, they can be really cheap or they can be really expensive. That's a really good one. I didn't even have that on my list. Um, 
they can be really cheap. So yeah, that's like the eleventh reason. So there's extra reasons here on why you should have La Mancha goats. Because this goat here costs two hundred and fifty dollars, but I actually bought a La Mancha for one hundred and twenty-five. That was a La Mancha Sand and Cross. She's not registered. This one's a registered goat at two fifty. So you can buy really expensive goats with La Manchas, or you can buy cheap ones, which is really cool. Sorry, I forgot you're not supposed to get off the camera when you're when you're um, making a video, but I have a tendency to wander, even though I'm milking goats. Um, trying to think of what else. I have a list. Oh, ice cream, the high butter fat. There you go. Um, La Manchas have a very high butter fat compared to other breeds, like the Sandin has a really low butter fat. I don't necessarily believe in the high butter fat thing because I found that by changing the food that I feed, I can affect how much butter fat is produced. Also, the butter fat seems to vary from the spring to the fall when the protein level of the grace is very high. Sorry, browse. Goats don't graze, they browse. Um, but when it's very high, they make more butter fat, and when it's low, they make less. Anyway, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I haven't covered for you guys. Anyway, Beatrix is a great milker too. She's at a gallon, and she's special because she milks really well at the beginning. But her really saving like powerhouse thing, we call her a little powerhouse because toward the end of lactation, when everybody tapers really bad, because in September, goats have a tendency to breed and they cycle and when they cycle their their um their whole production drops so she doesn't do that too bad she actually keeps up going at three quarts for like ever we actually milked her 11 months i think the first time she lactated for us because we bought her in like september and then we milked her through the winter and she literally dried up one month because of two weeks. We had to dry her up because she started producing colostrum. So she's a kick butt goat. been thrown 20 feet like headbutted by a really big boar billy he was a monster billy so these goats are not big enough or mean enough to have the tendency to do that kind of thing so if you're getting a milk goat i really like these goats oh and side benefit here they don't bite near as much like you'll get goats that bite really bad like nubians they they will bite you they put you in their mouths all the time and these guys don't do that. They'll rub on you. They'll walk up to you and start rubbing on your person, but they don't bite as bad. So <laughs> those are like 12 reasons why you should get a La Mancha. Or was it 13? It was a lot of reasons, but these are the top 10 reasons. Some of them might have doubled up. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. If you have any questions, please ask it in the comments below. And I am working very, very hard on making that video on my best milker because we're debating on who the best milker is because there's the one that's making the most milk this year. There's the one that's made the most babies that we've kept because they're such good milkers. So she's like 12 and we have like four of her daughters and like eight of her granddaughters and like 16 of her great granddaughters. And her milk production when counted with all of her babies is just insane. Um, and then the one that has the best milk production at the end of the year, like this one here, very awesome. I think Jess is back. Anyway, bye guys.